So today we're going to talk about a left hand technique and it's about how you know to hold the bass with your left hand. Now if you know piano, they tell you to if you play piano, they tell you to have your hand in a resting position where your hand fingers are curled up and relaxed in this kind of a position. This is resting position. And this causes the least amount of strain when your fingers are curled like this. You want to apply that same kind of position. You want to kind of apply that exact same position to the base. You want your fingers to be curved. You don't want them to be like flat or whatnot because your hand's going to cramp up. You can also, in this curved position, stretch out your hand enough that it rests comfortably in this curved position but you can also stretch out and cover four frets. Now, the back of your hand, your thumb on the back of the neck, this is where it can get tricky. I have this problem on the upright bass and on the bass guitar. You want your thumb to be curved, like so. On the upright bass, it's common practice and more recommended than not to have your middle finger and your thumb kind of sync up with each other. They don't have to be like exact, like if you're going from the G string down to the, your low E string, you don't want to like have your thumb just, well you could have your thumb pivot around, but if you're shifting, your thumb shifts with it. Obviously, you know, if you're going, if you're moving, you know, playing a passage that requires you to only move up one fret, you can just shift your hand and then shift back again if it's this kind of a motion. But if it's anything more than a fret, your thumb follows your middle finger. You don't want your, what you don't want to do is starting to get into the habit of having your thumb lock up like this. See how it's, see how it's, you know, it looks like this instead of this. Again, it cramps up your hand and it's going to cause you to, you know, atrophy and not play as fast or as exactly as you need to play. The last thing that I'm going to talk about in this left hand technique is that when you fret, You don't have to hammer down and press down as hard as you can with the string. You're obviously going to want to set up your neck so that the action of the string above the fretboard is such that you can just press down, not put, put enough pressure that you can fret the note, but not too much that, again, you're causing your hand to cramp up. It's simple stuff, but people don't work on it enough as far as I think and it's better to just get into this kind of a habit while it's just better to get into that kind of habit because your hand will thank you and your playing will improve